All right, what's up, everyone? So we're back here at the Kitchen and Bath Show, yes. and I'm with uh, my main man, Ben, from Centrell Bath Systems. So I'm a dealer for Centrell. I know all about how it works, and I've installed many of your shower kits, but my viewers don't know, and I haven't done a dedicated video on it yet. So here we are today with Ben. Um, he's gonna walk us through what makes Centrell unique and what is uh, basically the big selling point of one of these systems. Yeah, that's right, Devin. Thanks so much. The Centrell bath system is going to be uh, fairly simple. Uh, it's going to be wall panels and shower bases that are created using high resolution digital printing. We create our panels by taking a quarter inch thick sheet of PVC and we print a high resolution digital image on those panels. We do that in 21 different colors, patterns and prints. And then after we've printed that uh, digital image onto the surface of the PVC panel, we put, a we put a glossy coat of acrylic over the top of that panel to protect the image and give it a finished look. Uh, we also make shower bases in a variety of different standard footprints as well as custom footprints. We have the ability to make a shower base to your width and depth and where to locate the drain and we'll make a shower base to your specifications that matches the print that's on the wall panels. Nice, nice. So I really like that this is just a one big high resolution picture mm -hmm. that's printed on the piece. Like yeah. that's just, you know, that, that's something crazy. Well, the digital printing process is the secret sauce. Right. Uh, we actually generate our image that we're printing onto the panels by taking an actual slab of stone or marble and we take tens of thousands of tiny little pictures of that slab of marble. This is the same method, by the way, that they use to preserve very high ticket precious artwork. And they'll create digital images of, say, the Mona Lisa. Um, they'll take teeny tiny little high resolution pictures of every square inch of that piece of art, or in this case, of that slab of granite, that slab of marble, that slab of uh, stone. And so we're taking pictures all over that slab and then we're stitching them to together to create a massive master image that's over 800 megapixels. And then we print that 800 megapixel image onto our wall panels. Cool. So I, what I really love about these panels is that I don't have to have some blanket 60 by 30 tub. I can have a 65 or a 62 or a 58 and I can cut my panel to exactly what I need, exactly what I have to cover up. I just gut out the surround. I can put the tub back in. I can bring my drywall up and I just cut the panel to to size. I use a track saw yeah. with a 60 tooth blade, shoop, mm -hmm. bust it down, and then I just install the panel. You glue it up. They come with tons of glue. They come with tons of adhesive. It comes with like seven tubes of adhesive, which is very nice. You adhesive it up, slap it on there, caulk your seams. Their, your guys' color match stuff is perfect. Yeah, you're talking it, about the silicone in yeah, the seams, absolutely. The, the silicone in, in the color match is just on point. It goes right in and you're done. So all you have to do is back it, and then anything that's, that's uh, nasty or cut up on the edge is covered by this trim that has so much flexibility. Yeah, you bring up great points about the installation there, Devin. It's gonna be one of the big selling points of a central bath system, is going to be getting into that job and getting out of that job. Uh, the installation's pretty slick. You're absolutely right. Uh, the look we've discussed but the final thing that I want to talk to you about is going to be the ease of maintenance on a central bath oh, yeah. system. Keeping these panels clean and polished up is as simple as a little bit of Windex and a rag. Uh, the way I clean my central system at my house is with a little bit of vinegar as I'm showering. I spray the shower down with some vinegar. I let the, I let the shower run for about five minutes before I climb in. And I climb into that shower and I run the shower head over the walls and everything polishes up nicely. Yeah, and the, the shelves are super simple. The shelves are simple, you're right about that. We're going to have a bracket that screws into the wall. This stainless bracket with stainless screws is going to screw right into the wall through the wall panels. And then our material, which we've folded into a clamshell, is simply going to go right over the top of that bracket. And we're going to glue that cor corner shelf down to the bracket and seal up the seams and joints with silicone. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, you could do a shower like this in one day. And that's a, 
it, especially if there's one bathroom in a house, mm -hmm. that's really key. We've got to have them up and running by the time you know we're done for the day. Let let it dry overnight, let the silicone dry, and they're back up and running. And so that, that's an absolute game changer. Um, one thing else I wanted to talk about is people might search the videos because they're looking at becoming a dealer mm -hmm. and they just don't know what they don't know. Yeah. So I really appreciate that you guys send out a dealer kit uh, and it has so many samples. Mm -hmm. And you can walk in prepared and say, hey, I want to look at the reason why I became a dealer is because I was buying it as Flexstone through Home Depot. And for those of you that don't know, Centrell is actually branded as Flexstone for Home Depot. So exact same product, exact same colors. And so you can get the sales kit and sell the product as Flexstone or Centrell, whatever it might be. And you go into the home fully prepared with a, a, a deck of colors and then sell the product and install it like, like that. Yep, and on to the next job, go and generate another lead. Go close that lead and get in and out of that project. You're exactly right, Devin. Yeah, and some of the other options are, are tile look stuff. Uh, you have one by 24 uh, tile look. You have subway tile look where people might want the subway tile look, but they don't want to maintain the grout. Mm -hmm. So there's so many options out there. Um, and if you're looking at Centrell or Flexstone, great product. Um, yeah, you really can't mess it up. Nah. Like you have to be a pretty bad contractor to mess this system up. I'm sure I could figure a way to do that, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, and j like like Ben had talked about earlier is over here we have custom shower pans. So you can get a custom shower pan in any any size, basically any uh, configuration. Large, our largest shower base that we're going to offer is going to be five feet by eight feet, sixty inches by ninety six inches. And so that's going to be our maximum, and then we can make anything smaller than that all the way down to the minimum would be as small as you're willing to take it. Wow, yeah, and five by eight is huge. It really is, a like, party shower, baby. Yeah, I've, I've done one five by eight shower and it was massive. Yeah. So I can only imagine getting a pan like that the same size. It's bigger than a four by eight sheet of plywood. Yeah, it sure so. is, and it's got a little bit of weight to it, but uh, it's still fairly manageable as far as uh, a couple of guys grabbing that five foot by eight foot shower base and getting it in and out of the job without too much effort. Yeah, cool. All right, well, that's my showcase on Centrell bath systems. Um, I fully believe in the product. Um, I really like using it. It's a very simple and very easy to install. So that's why I have it here on the channel. So if you'd like to follow me for more tips and tricks on how to be more self-sufficient, follow the channel, give me a thumbs up, and uh, of course, look Centrell systems up on uh, online. And I'm sure you guys have social media and stuff. Absolutely. I'll tag it down below. Make it easy for everybody. Thanks, Ben. For You're your the time. man, Devin. Thanks so much.